I traded my way from a tiny night goblin step by step through a couple of smaller miniatures to a couple of bigger miniatures to entire armies and a massive Forge World Titan to even more insane bigly armies to finally land where we are today. As you might remember from the last video in this series, we traded a Drukhari army for the Warbringer Titan, the little brother of the big Warlord Titan. But not only that, we also traded a set of pretty freaking amazing knights for what we all know is Henry Cavill's dream army, as this person pretty much have become synonymous with Adeptus uh, Custodes. And it's not a small one, it's like freaking $2,000 worth of Henry Cavill's dream army. And the end goal is simple, to get from that knight goblin all the way to Warlord Titan. Build a massive diorama or paint that up, make an epic video series and then auction that off and give all of the proceeds to charity. So let's start with the big plan. This is the Warbringer Titan, let's just put that aside for now. And instead, focus on painting the Adeptus Custodes army this week. Because I'm thinking if you have a pretty freaking awesomely painted Adeptus Custodes army, who wouldn't want to trade a Warlord Titan for that? And Mr. Cavill, if you're out there, you know that the offer still stands. If you want an Adeptus Custodes army, this one will be pretty awesome for you. So Lucas, what do you want to do? I want to be finished, so let's start cleaning them. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna start removing all the paint from the custodes, and maybe when that is done we can figure out what to do with the Warbringer and uh, paint up the figures. Okay, since we want to get a little bit fancy with this custodes army and maybe even be able to trade it with Henry Cavill himself, we thought we need to clean these minis of all of the old paint. And what better way to use the Green Stuff World paint remover We've seen reviews, it's supposed to be the best paint remover out there, so hopefully it works. So Lucas, we have a problem. So the Greens of World Cleaner have worked quite fantastic. A few of the figures that were left in for like six hours, they're getting uh, soft. See, oh, I just cracked the weapon. Don't leave resin in for six hours. We're gonna cut them up and add some other bits, plastic card and stuff maybe. Maybe a metal rod? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's uh, see how we can solve this problem because I feel like it's a big one. So the converting looks amazing, but we have another problem. Out of the bikers, there's about five of them missing the spare tips. We're gonna have to cut these off and we've been given a gift from OpenScan for another video project. So we're gonna try to 3D scan the spare tip and just make five new ones with the 3D printer and scanner. I'm looking forward to trying this out. Yeah. And while we're at this incredibly dangerous task of making brand new spears, let me talk about this week's sponsor, Into the AM. You've seen me and Lucas wear their shirts pretty much exclusively over the past six months. Because Into the AM makes some of the coolest graphic t-shirts on the internet. But not only that, I've also fallen in love with their full print shirts like this one. I think it's amazing. And right now they're getting into Black Friday sales, meaning they have 30% off the entire website and this will go on from november 18th to december 4th so make sure to go to their website link in the video description check out some t-shirt pick some up for yourself or your dog because there have never been a better time to wear awesome shirts than today uh, let's see how the print ended up looking so we just got the first scan and honestly i feel like it looks quite amazing it's uh, lacking the hole in the center that the original have i think uh, we're gonna be happy with this we're just gonna glue everything together and then it's painting time.
I guess we're ready to start painting and we have a solid plan because yesterday we did a few paint tests, I think five in total. All of them look quite good, but we still want to be able to do it somewhat fast. So we figured out a good recipe to use the Green Stuff World Gold Pigment Powder through the airbrush. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off though with priming everything black. And then uh, start with the gold, and then we'll do some painting. Me and Lucas just sitting here and painting as much as we can, as fast as we can. It's big army. So I've been painting red for quite a bit now, red and black actually, so I'm just gonna take a break from that and paint with some uh, metal color gunmetal grey on all of the weapons, cause uh, yeah I'm gonna need to do something else for a bit and it's gonna be nice. I want to take a break just like this guy. So I'm gonna start painting all the power weapons and cover them with a really cool blue non-metallic metal icy sheen thingy wingy. So the minis are starting to look really good once they have like the black, the metal and the red on them. I really like it, but I'm hyped about painting some faces. So while Lucas is doing the swords, I'm gonna do some face highlighting because uh, I think I deserve doing some highlighting now. Our time schedule of uh, painting the whole army in two days though, I think uh, we can forget about that. I mean, just look at the ships Don't over there. Forget about all the minis that's over in the kitchen. What are you hiding all the minis in the kitchen, Lucas? There's a lot left to do. Okay, Lucas, week one done. Woo! Two or two days, actually. Yeah. But we have all the gold on the main characters, not the bikes and the ships. And we have almost all faces and weapons done. And the uh, rest of the big guy. <sighs> I think we're gonna need like two, three more days. Maybe. Maybe. So while Emil's doing the rest of the faces, I'm gonna start painting all this gold so that we have a big gold army. I've been painting black for so many days. All the faces are done though, so I'm happy about that. But we're missing some bases. So I'm going to use the FDM printer from Quiddy and uh, print a few bases. And luckily it's a super simple printer to use. So I'm just gonna press print and hopefully in five hours we have uh, bases. So we had this idea, we're gonna make marble bases, like a turquoise marble. I think we can make it look amazing in quite a short time as compared to like making super advanced bases because we don't really have time for that. So we're just gonna start by gluing all of the bases onto plastic card. And that is to give the base a plain surface. 
And if you got black plastic art, that is definitely preferred over the white one because then you don't even need to use a primer to make it black. We're then going to do something super simple. We're gonna use cotton buds and we're just gonna drag these apart and then add them on top of the base and spray with an airbrush with a regular white paint. And this gives us some really nice random white texture patterns on the bases. In all honesty, I feel like they really look like marble. I was at the supermarket the other day and I found something pretty cool. This is called marble spray and it just shoots out like strands of marble black stuff. I think this is gonna be quite cool to add some details to the base. So we're gonna try spray a few and hopefully the marble bases are gonna look even more amazing. So I have some uh, fantastically terrible news. Lucas is looking like shit. Not in a literal sense, because he's very pretty, but he's getting really sick. So I just sent him home so he can get some rest and feel better. He decided to bring some minis because he's like super passionate about us finishing this project for the whole charity thing. So a big applause to Lucas for that. But it also puts us in a little bit of a pickle because we have to finish this video this week because otherwise we don't get money from sponsor and we don't have money for salaries. So I'm just gonna keep painting as much as I can and uh, hopefully we have something to show you guys. Meanwhile, if you're super kind, just press that like button because that helps a lot and makes me painting minis when I'm sick so much more worth it. I've done as much as I could this week. I worked really hard. So now we have the red base coats on most everything. We have pretty much everything black base coated as well, where we're gonna highlight metal and stuff. There is obviously quite a lot left to do, but we got the bases done as well. And we're gonna have to do a lot of work on the big ships and uh, these guys. But yeah, I'm feeling really confident about us being able to make something epic from this, because these guys are looking pretty damn fine. I feel like especially the swords and the faces look so good that it's just gonna bring everything up to like a really nice level. Lucas is still down and out like quite bad. I'm gonna let him rest for a few more days but you should really consider subscribing because I feel like the conclusion of just painting this army and especially this whole video series trading up to the world of Titan is gonna be so epic that you don't want to miss it out. And being subscribed is the best way to get a notification when it's done. Hopefully the next video in this series is gonna be the one when all of this is done and we find a good trade partner for it. I'm freaking hyped. The whole auction for charity is uh, like, I think it's gonna be so much fun. Massive thanks to all the patrons. That's it. Have a good day. Bye bye.